In India, we have seen that Go Puja is considered very auspicious because all the gods and goddesses reside in Kamadenu or the cow. So, in fact, if we walk on the road uh, and we see a cow there, a milking cow, a milching cow, so you know, people just stop and remove the slippers and they touch the tail and do the pranams and then they leave. This is because it's considered that uh, Lakshmi, goddess Lakshmi, resides in the tail of the cow. So, we call it the Go Puja. So, Go Puja is something which is very auspicious simply because it, it has the power to remove doshas of your previous life and present life also. It's a Papa Nivritti Puja, I can say uh, confidently because what happened is one of my clients, I may have mentioned in my previous videos also, uh, had performed very bad deeds uh, in the past life and even in the present life in the early childhood itself without knowing, uh, you know, he had hurt animals and uh, birds particularly by using the air gun and shooting them and taking the kitchen knife and um, literally like um, peeling the feathers and um, just for the fun of it and he was not probably not even corrected by his parents and he didn't realize the uh, the impact of uh, what he was doing and uh, in the later part of his life he had to suffer a lot uh, with health issues and literally like how he had troubled the animals uh, he could feel the pain in each and every part of his body, not just in terms of pain, in terms of having diseases and disorders and uh, it, it was very horrifying to know about it. Uh, but, you know, uh, through Patadar Sima's consultation and uh, when he sought consultation from her, she revealed that, you know, you've done all of this and which is why you're suffering. And he was, he was further shocked that, you know, he had not told me anything about it, nor had he even remembered that he had done something like that and how uh, the Divine Mother Patadasima beautifully revealed uh, his past life as well as his uh, early childhood and the, the past deed, karmas are bad and the Go Puja was selected. So, as the best remedy for him. So, when he started feeding the cows and doing the traditional puja for the cow, or the cow, uh, he saw phenomenal change in his health and uh, you know the hospitalization duration reduced and the food which he was not able to digest, he started digesting and he, and he felt a considerable change. But uh, what again unfortunate thing is that uh, consistency is very important and when you are prescribed to do it at least for a few weeks and if you just fail to do it for those many weeks, then again the problem sets back because your karma is not fully cleansed. It's like the infection in the body is not fully removed. It's partially removed and, and you know, you just, uh, you know, you perform the operation, remove few of the cancer cells and again, uh, you say it's all done and now nothing, there's nothing more to be done. Then uh, obviously the cancer will uh, again come back, right? Or the infection again will spread further fast unless and until it's completely eliminated. Even antibiotic doses are given in a specified duration, like say they say it's a five day course, it's a three day course mainly because they know that you know before that if you stop taking then it, uh, it will relapse so in the same way karma also can relapse and uh, you may see that the the change that you saw in a short span of time can just vanish in no time so go puja is an ongoing uh, activity i feel as a cleansing activity that you should take and uh, you should feed the cows and do the go puja and in the same venugopala swami temple and when you say venugopala he is nothing but the cow herd with the flute in his hand, a beautiful uh, uh, Krishna temple, uh, they are doing this Go Puja on Fridays especially, but they do it every day, but for um, devotees uh, who are very, very keen, we do it on Fridays, we can arrange it on a Friday. Um, so, where the puja is performed in a traditional way and all the gods residing in uh, the cow, uh, the Kamadhenu, they are, uh, we, we seek their blessings, they are invoked and then uh, we also have an additional uh, offering of, you know, if you are interested, get a Lakshmi Homa done through uh, Sri Sukta. So, it is it's beneficial because it is Lakshmi uh, Narayana, right? So, when you do Vishnu, we also get the blessings of Lakshmi. So, uh, specifically, if wealth is your main focus in life. Doing a Go Puja goes again abundance. Everything that comes from a cow is so auspicious, so useful to uh, the entire humanity. So, whether it is the milk or the milk dairy products or even if it is the cow dung, uh, I mean unfortunately, but yeah, even leather, the, they use leather of the, you know, the skin of the cow. People even uh, eat uh, beef and, you know, have meat, uh, cow's meat. But basically what I am trying to say here is that, um, uh, food and uh, you know it's their choice and preference i wouldn't say anything but 
what i mean to say through this is that cow in every way is useful in every single way it's been useful helpful so uh, performing a, a puja for the cow is considered as an ultimate remedy for uh, cleansing karmic cleansing and uh, this particular goshala has more than 15 cows okay and uh, definitely when you do the go puja you're also feeding them feeding them is a part of the puja ritual and then after that when you do the lakshmi homa it has a great impact it's a great combo because here you're not only serving all the gods and you're also at the same time invoking the blessings of the goddess of prosperity to help you and bless you and uh, again elaborate a traditional ritualistic way of doing it's not tantric it is completely vedic and uh, traditional traditionally the both the pujas are done and we definitely send you videos and sankalpa is taken in your name and star and prasadam is sent so you get to see a good change in your life this is again a very medium, medium budget uh, or i can even say low budget puja that you can do on a regular basis regular basis to maintain your good finances you may to maintain your good karmic points uh, to maintain the sense of well-being in this video this is exactly what i wanted to share that if you are interested do reach out to me for the gopuja and the lakshmi homa thank you so much namaste